Hey guys, welcome to the Solar Eclipse in Sagittarius reading. I hope you're all doing well and taking care of yourselves in these spectacular times of transformation. Now, if you joined us for the Lunar Eclipse and Taurus reading, we actually got to see it here up here in Canada, but here for the Solar Eclipse, no. And guys, not very many people, unless you're in Antarctica, really get to see the glorious solar eclipse. It does touch some parts of South Africa and I do believe South America. So we won't be seeing it up here, but still blessed and honored to be a part of that lunar eclipse and it and we can still feel it. It's we're still transforming with it. It's we're still transforming from the macrocosm to the microcosm and understanding all of life is connected. All of it. Now guys, I want to start off by saying there is going to be a, a sacred geometry part to this later on. I'm being called to get sacred geometry, but not today. So next time we meet up, it's going to be about the sacred geometry. But let's get a flame and let's discuss where we're at. The sun is going to be coming up soon. We're starting with the moon. And we know a new moon, you can't, you know, she's nowhere to be found. And thanks everyone for joining us at our last reading, okay? For our last reading. We will be doing some purification work here within a moment, but I want to share the messages first. This has to do with metamorphosis and the release, okay? And understanding that this is happening through creation and dream time, okay, guys, right now. So pay attention to your dreams or, you know, honor what your dreams are allowing you to release and embrace through your subconscious mind. Because we know not like just because you dream of something doesn't mean it's coming true. It doesn't necessarily work like that. Yes, some dreams are premonitions, but... A lot of work the subconscious mind is doing is to heal and release what needs to be released. Embrace what needs to be embraced. And that has to do with life. Guys, we're connecting to all of life right now. Our Six of Cups is the connection to all of life. The bugs too. And there's a special connection right now to the bugs, birds, and plant life. Animal kingdom, right? The animals as well. We can't forget this life. We're being activated to heal in symbiosis, work in symbiosis with this life. And this is what's activated this, okay? The rainbow people, the rainbow warriors of the earth. And we know we're working, we're healing through self. The more work that we do to heal through self with all of life is going to help us illuminate and eliminate the evils of this world. Now, guys, this was spectacular to see these connections here with the devil and metamorphosis. When the tarot speaks like this, this is the gifts. This is the magic. This is the wonder of creation. And, you know, because like I to I've told you guys many times here, I don't have time to study. I I've never had time to study, but honoring that's part of my gifts. How it all comes together here is what makes me believe in the divine. Now, this metamorphosis, the release from healing from the devil energies and the hold, the hold that the devil energies has had on us. But guys, we had to honor this space and place as part of the whole in order to shape shift from it. It's allowing the release and it's allowing judgment. It's allowing the new beginning. Here's the ending. And here's the new beginning. And this is what's allowing us to come together through healing with force right now, guys. Literally, we're healing with force, okay? And it's allowing us to come together. All this work we've been doing with the masculine, because this has to do with rebuilding the structures of the new world. But we had to do it by honoring the feminine a time for regeneration, the balance restored. 
And we had to see this. We had to work with the feminine in order to come together. And this has allowed us to heal from tyranny. And we are healing from tyranny. And guys, we need to keep believing. We can't feed into the media and what is happening without. We need to remember we're the creators. We don't want to build their story for them. We want to build our story. A healed, high vibe new earth. Where we believe in the universe and the creator, source energy, working with Mother Earth. And that we came here for a reason. And we have to believe in all of that. And we have to add the positive charge and allow our experiences to shape shift us. We're, we're going to stop looking at things as good and bad. It's all experience. It can still be good and bad. Remember, we're multidimensional. It can still be good and bad. But we're not going to, you know, get define our experience as good and bad and if we're going to get rewarded or if we're going to get punished because we've made mistakes it's all experience to understand the whole to understand creation to understand why we're here and as we're doing all that we're shape-shifting it all and creating this new world it's just we have to we have to apply the application of love because we know love is the highest vibration it's higher than fear and our electromagnetic field is exponentially bigger in love than it is in fear and they know that that's why they've been trying to keep us in fear for so long but it's not working anymore guys because of the death templates we've been facing and if you joined us on our last reading i've been called to have a death template special when the time is right guys within the next few months here okay it's going to happen sooner rather than later and what this is activating is Angel de la Nue. And this is the angel of the night. And this is understanding we brought the sacredness back into the underworld. We healed it all. It's all part of the whole. And we know that there was a fear put on the underworld and working with the underworld in order to keep our people from advancing. Now, the evil ones hijacked the lower world the underworld in order to dominate the middle world and affect the upper world but we didn't allow that guys we came in in order to restore sacredness in the underworld we're not being tricked anymore it's all part of the whole it's all part of creation and we've talked much about the earth star okay guys and when we do this Facing the death template special, we will revisit the Earth Star and what that means and working with the Earth, Earth Star and the lower world, okay? So, worlds. The worlds. Biscuit Boo's here, guys. Come here, Biscuit Boo. I have to bring his baby. Come on. Come here. Come on. shut this a little bit so he doesn't get too cold okay so let's let's do some purification work and then we're going to get our messages the sun is starting to come up and within here is that mixture of cedar sweet grass and sage It smells so sweet and savory. All right, guys. Now. We are using our Merkaba. The frequency of Merkaba supports our ability to use our consciousness to traverse into other layers of reality and dimensions. It activates our access to our Akashic inheritance as well as merging the totality of our experiences into our present to serve our highest purpose. 
And that is being activated right now with the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, guys, and our divine blueprint is connected to our divine inheritance. our Akashic inheritance. And right now, they've shared with me there's a connection to that and the moon. see what it is guys hang tight guys It's our confidence. It's confirmed, and we spoke about this on our last reading, our preparations for the solar eclipse. And it's in, it's in Sagittarius. And we're working with Hera, the red goddess of cancer, the purification of our emotions, guys. We're purifying with our emotions. We're purifying with the mother. And there's enlightenment here as well as this is spectacular, guys, okay? There are two peacocks, okay? Two peacocks coming together. That is what is on her head. It's her headdress, okay? And this is activating an idea. With the element of air, remember, we're purifying with our thoughts. And this is allowing us choice. Choice with the mother in order to heal from isolation. And we're going to do so, guys, with our gifts, okay? The activation of our gift, our gifts. And this is going to be what heals us and frees us from prison. And we will spin the wheel. We will turn the wheel. And this is what got activated with that lunar eclipse in Taurus. But of course, guys, it's through a challenge. It's through a challenge. A challenge with the element of air to elevate. And that's connected to home, new earth, the 5D and beyond with Gaia. Mother Earth. The feminine. The daughter. So we're working with mother and daughter. Water and earth. And it's activating our true self. This is our true self, guys. And the activation of true self and working with Aquarius. But we're going to have to make a compromise. In order to heal from manipulation. Remember, the negotiation is the center. That's where the creator is. And this will allow us to heal and move forth. With our principles through the earth. And this is the activation of our principles with the earth. This is where two paths, two paths become one. Okay, guys, two paths become one. But the activation of this, okay, guys, is connected to this. This is working with cancer in order to heal with our emotions and do inner child healing as well as heal with the children and make a better world for the children. And it activates, it activates purification with the mother. 
This is also working, or this is working with Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. The water element is here. And it's working with love and our instincts. And we're going to expand from our impulses. Artemis is here, Virgo, okay? This is working with the Emperor. And Artemis is wearing a light blue dress because she's connected to the reflection of the light of the moon, okay? The reflection. And we expand with our impulses. And that brings us together with love. Okay, is here. And that's what's happening, guys. We're coming together with love. But it's through a revision with the element of air. And of course, that is connected to the black black goddess of Sagittarius, Kali. And we met Kali's right here. Guys, it's all coming together. I love it. This is Kali. And our connection to metamorphosis, Scorpio, it, within this tarot, the tarot of the light and release in order to embrace an ending to begin again with truth and the removal of our masks, what's not authentic. And this is activating our fortune. We're working with Fortuna here, the daughter of Jupiter and the daughter of Jupiter. Of course, we know that Sagittarius is connected to Jupiter, the planet of luck and expansion. And this has to do with Saturn and Jupiter and what's been happening within the sky. And Saturn and Jupiter have been working together in order to help us expand. And we're going to get deeper into that in the sacred geometry section of this. Okay, guys, later on down the road here, stay tuned. But there's a reactivation of our passions when we heal from what's lower vibrational in the element of air. But remember, guys, we had to take the fall in order to raise our vibration. But this fall, remember this descent. This is all connected to our last reading, guys. This descent was treasure hunting. We were doing soul retrieval work in the underworld. Allowed us to find the solution. The solution with the element of air in the middle world. But we had to destroy in order to create. We had to work with Scorpio and Lilith, the black goddess, in order to destroy, in order to create. And this is what's activated the bridge, the bridge with the lovers. This is spectacular, guys. This is spectacular. The moon spoke. And this was honored with the sacrifice, guys. That was the time we were just in. This is connected to Scorpio and we made a sacrifice, but it was in order to elevate and it was ordered to heal with our confidence. Disseminating moon waning in fire. This phase signifies the repeating of the benefits gained through earlier attainments. You can enjoy the fruits of your labors. Your confidence is boosted as you look back on your past achievements. It is a time for promoting and developing something good that you are proud of that was begun before. When this card is in the moon of Sagittarius, you have the confidence to be quite outspoken and forthright in your views. Your reputation is riding high and you may enjoy good contracts with other countries. Guys, and this says everything about, you know, what Sagittarius offers. If we're going to have a revision of our confidence, we're going to, we're not going to be feeling so confident. Or if we're going to be activating our con confidence, we're going to feel confident. But remember, this is the whole picture. So we're experiencing both. This is what's being illuminated during this time. And because... We're, like this is all on point guys because this was the next activation that we're about to share and remember that this has to do with cancer and the red goddess Hera she must be over here let's find her before we just continue on here so let's get the proper cards we need guys I'm also feeling sure to to share Feeling called to share confidence. So hang tight here. 
just want to get it together. There she is. Okay. So let's just share confidence first before we continue. And next time we meet up, because there's a leftover message that we discussed that we're meeting up. We're going to go into greater detail about these messages here. Okay, guys. Actually, let me get it straight. And there's a message we're going to share with that. And then we're going to have a sacred geometry expansion. So that'll be next time we meet up. Now. This is working with this. All right. We are activating our confidence through what we don't resonate with and what we do and what we still need to heal and where we've elevated. And it's through a compromise and it's activating Fortuna, the daughter of Jupiter, okay? And Fortuna is working with Leo, the sun and Jupiter. So the balsamic moon in fire. As the moon <clears throat> Sorry guys. As the moon's light diminishes to form a thin crescent facing the right as you look at it, the moon reaches its seed state. Seed energy, guys. There is a sense of storing for the future during this phase. And there's our connect connection to the winter. And we're going to be having the winter solstice. Which has an almost prophetic quality. You sense that something outside of your own self-interest is taking place. Our connection to the moon in Sagittarius. Similar to Aries, creative action is all important with this sign. But you will be more able to focus on long-term on long planning. And that's what's happening. That's why Fortuna has been activated. And we will also get deeper into this in our next message the next time we meet up. All right. Now, so we're, we've been doing purification work with the Father. That's what this is all about. But honoring us through our emotions and working with the moon. We know that cancer is connected to the moon and our emotions and our habitual patterning. So we're doing purification work with our habitual patterning. This goes back into this message. How we are activating through dream time in order to nurture here with life and Gaia. And work with our subconscious mind. Because it's connected to our patterning. And working with the moon, our true self. So we're doing purification here with the father. And it's activating receptivity okay guys and it's taking us home it's activated our ten of cups our purpose and this is the other half of our divine inheritance so look at that guys and i didn't even put two and two together that's what i mean that's what i love about my path i've been so busy doing other things and then we get here and wow the magic happens the divine is here lit with source energy Thank you to the elements and to Mother Earth. And thank you to you all. I love you guys. I'm sending it to you, right? Those good, good healing vibes. I love you guys. I really, really do. With all my heart, okay? I'll see you at our next part. We're going to activate with the Black Moon Astrology cards, guys. And we're going to see what this activation, this next activation is all about. And then we'll finish it off with some tarot, okay, guys? Okay.